Uh, another good win for us. Um, I thought Brett Carey threw well uh, outside of that one inning. Uh, after we had the long offensive inning, he came out. Just we need to do a better job of a shutdown inning. Um, but overall, defense was really good again. We scored nine runs. So uh, we'll take it and we'll move on to tomorrow. Um, first of all, uh, Brennan, um, how, how's he? Yeah, he's a little bit of a hip flexor, uh, so we're just trying to be safe with him. He, he tweaked it. He, he had been battling it a little bit going into the weekend, and he tweaked it a little bit on that swing and trying to get out of the box. So we just wanted to err on the side of caution, and, and Jeff came in and did a nice job defensively. Could he play tomorrow? Does it just depend on how he wakes depends up? Depends on how he feels, yeah. It'll be a day-to-day -day thing. And, and Brett with 12 strikeouts, I don't think he struck out anybody in the last scrimmage. What, what was different about him today? You know, just that, I mean, he, his fastball was about what it's been, 88 to 91, um, and the slider is good. So, you know, he just, it's amazing. It's just, again, it's, you watch him doing it, and you don't see 95, you don't see an 81-mile-an-hour hammer, but you just see guys struggle to see it well and, and, and put it in play a lot of times. So I just think it was Brett Carey being Brett Carey. Guys scored runs in a couple of different ways over the court. I think Noah Bunted, you had two home runs. Is that kind of what you expect from this lineup top to bottom? Yeah. I mean, any team wants to be balanced and, and have multiple ways to score. Um, we scored with power. We stole some bases. Uh, we got a safety squeeze down. You just have to be multidimensional uh, if you're going to be good at this level. And we showed a little bit of that today. What did you all say to Brett after that second inning? And, and how did you see him respond and, and bounce back yeah I mean we didn't need to say much he's he, he knows what he's doing out there and again I think on a cold day like today and, and we had a very very long first inning um, I think almost a 40 minute inning there on offense where he had to just sit in the dugout because he had, was really sharp in that first inning he struck out the side in the first inning uh, and looked sharp and then just that second inning just wasn't quite there but it's probably a little bit understandable we just we need to get a feel for our pitchers when they're in that situation how to handle it a little bit better Two days in a row now, you've kind of jumped on them really early. Is there anything that goes into that? Or is it just the way it goes sometimes? And also, how important is it to, to do that? Yeah, I mean, you always want to try to get out in front and score first and, and try to control the game like that. But at the end of the day, you're taking the same quality of bats you're trying to in the first inning as you do the third or the fifth. Um, but it always is nice when you get out front because um, then generally it allows your pitching to kind of settle in and, and do what they want to do. But um, because they scored three in that second inning, it made a little bit tighter ball game. And um, for a while there, it was close, and, and we were able to pull away late. How would you evaluate the back end of that bullpen, those four guys that threw, and especially Danny coming in and doing what he did? He didn't throw enough strikes. Um, Parker had tremendous stuff today, 93, 94 with a hammer. Um, but he walked two guys, and Bosnick walked three guys. Uh, so that's not, that's not OK. Uh, they know they've got to go in there and pound the strike zone because their stuff is plenty good enough. Danny Lloyd came in, got needed to get one hitter out. You know, with the tying run on deck, you've got to use your clothes there. You don't want to, but you just can't let any more mess happen at that point. So he came on, came in to get the one out. He did that. Um, not Cam's stuff was pretty good, too. Um, it's they'll all get better again they, those velocities were pretty impressive considering how cold it was out there so they'll all be better they're all getting out there for the first time in real games so um saw some good things but also saw some things they need to improve on you talk coming into this about having 12 or 13 guys that you really wanted to play these first two games you've been able to get I guess those 12 or 13 guys in some, at least for some at bats. Uh, how do you how do you kind of assess things with what you've been able to see? Uh, do you do you keep kind of tweaking or, or, or how, how do you approach after you, after seeing some guys? Yeah, we'll we'll keep doing generally what we're doing in terms of giving different guys opportunities. Um, we gave Burgess, the freshman catcher, a chance to play today, and I thought he played really well. He blocked really well. He caught well. Um, had the big double there, so I thought he, he did really well. And Emma Cangelo is a guy that gives you really good at bats and offers more speed. We'll continue to get guys opportunities. Heinrich got, has gotten opportunities because of the hip flexor to Malone, so guys will keep getting looks. And um, when they go in there, they need to play well to keep playing. Uh, Noah Myers made an unbelievable catch there out in center field when he went in for defense. So you know those things matter. You play. You want to play more. You need to play well. All right, thanks guys.